Vaz steps up top of the circle, shoots, scores! Taylor Vaz with a perfect shot inside the post. You were the captain of Swift Current Broncos your final year. You're also the 2012 WHL Humanitarian of the Year. What motivated you to be so involved in the community outreach efforts in Swift Current that led you to win that award in 2012? Well, I, I think that comes from my family. Um, coming from my parents, kind of uh, just instilling the importance of giving back. And my grandma was actually uh, from Swift Current, um, or lived in Swift Current, and my dad was born there and played for the Broncos as well. So for me, uh, that connection was pretty awesome to be the second generation and kind of share that with my dad. And um, so to kind of give back to the community in that way was important to just uh, show my love for the city and uh, give back in a way that uh, hopefully made a difference and uh, just kind of bring out uh, how special that community really was to me. Here comes Swift Current again, two on one, they score. Top corner, guess who? Taylor Vaz, Patrick Gold. Well, you have a new community now, Vienna. Your your fiance is from there. You're going into your fifth season with the club. Are you still able to be involved in the community the way you were in Swift Current? Or are you finding it a little bit more difficult, maybe with the language barrier? Or have you found a way um, or a cause that for yourself, you've been able to ingratiate yourself into the community through that? Uh, I did find that quite tough at the start because you, you don't really have the ability to have the connection with fans as much as you do um, back when you're playing junior and immediately can just have a conversation with someone right after the game or something like that. So giving back and for me, the one of the big things for me is the type 1 diabetes awareness. And it was such a significant thing for me when I was first reached out to by a couple of uh, NHL players and uh, Nick Boynton and Bobby Clark when I was first diagnosed and they just said, hey, doesn't have to stop you from doing what you love and and if you want to play pro hockey or e even just to continue your junior career it's not going to stop you from doing what you love so i in initiated uh, an initiative uh, i guess i, I uh, called taylor's type ones uh, and we started raising awareness over here through my team the vienna capitals and i actually designed a jersey uh, for christmas uh, our christmas jersey three years in a row and we raise money towards uh, diabetes kids camp, uh, kids camps in Austria. Start back up ice here for the Broncos. Play it for Holban. That pass off of late comes right to Taylor Voss. Walks in and he scores. You've been part of the the EBLE championship. You've been part of an American Hockey League championship team. And you look at your time in the Western Hockey League. Is there a memory or a moment that sticks out for you as your favorite favorite moment or memory from the Western Hockey League? You know, when, when you ask that, there's a lot of memories that come come to mind. Uh, it all kind of floods back in a way. But the last game, I mean, we we had a, a tough final year uh, in, in Swift Current. We didn't make the playoffs and we hadn't really had much success moving into the playoffs in the last couple of years. So there was kind of that culmination. It all led to the second last game of the season, which was in Swift Current. And I scored a goal on a breakaway. And it was kind of like the the last send off to my time and the fans and Swift Currents, and uh, it was kind of the last send off, scoring a final goal and being able to do it in front of the fans that supported me all throughout my career. And, and uh, I still go back to Swift Current when I can. So um, things like that are definitely reasons why uh, the WHL, my time Swift Current, and all those things were uh, very special, memorable, and all all those different words that uh, just. You know, uh, I'll, I'll remember forever for sure.